Hello, darlings. I am Cassandra. Welcome to the Daily Inspirational Oracle Reading. If you have a problem or issue or concerns, perhaps you're looking for insight or a sign or just another perspective, this reading could help you. Or you may simply allow your mind to settle within your heart, darling, and see what surfaces from your subconscious and let it resonate with this reading. I'm going to go ahead. I have three cards for you today. The first card I have for you is from the matter who is raw creative force of the universe this would be um, universal power and energy his message to you this morning is assert your divine power this is raw yang energy creative the creative force of the universe that creates everything okay the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess afar who represents our third eye our, um, which represents our imagination, wisdom. Her message to you is creativity is not a special gift, darling. You are a creator. And the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And her message to you this morning or today or whatever time you're watching this video, darling, is give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul. Forgive yourself. Let's just jump into this reading, child. So the the big picture message to you is make sure you want what you're asking for because whatever you ask for, you're gonna get it. So make sure you want it. Okay. Make. Sh I know that's so hard, right? I know the universe is asking you to think about it to really think it through because what you ask him for right now if you're watching this video and you're wondering like mm, i think i'm going to jump jump you're going to get it you're going to get it but do you want it do you want to marry that man do you really want to start do you are you really sure it's asking you to take a second look because sometimes our lesson is in not what we get but what we um what we don't get but what we acquire all right so i have a little story for you guys this card here give your mind time to accept the wisdom of your soul forgive yourself so remember the collective energy of the reading the message today is make sure you want what you're asking for because you're going to get it okay um you know i, I have my own magazine i was in my early maybe yeah i was in my mid-20s and it was called triumph magazine and um of course i wanted my own magazine i used to write for today's black woman um upscale magazine just a, a variety of african-american magazines and um and i used to just like sit down and think of ideas and i would write articles and i would just mass you know mail them out so there was always a problem because more than one person would want the article and then they would publish it and then they would say, oh, well, we saw it in another magazine, but I was thinking it was my idea. And then they said, well, have you ever heard of North American Rides? It means that if we publish it, you can't publish it anywhere for, I don't know if it's like how many years or if at all, but I just remember thinking like, no, nobody's going to take my ideas. So I'm just going to start my own magazine. So child, woo, I started my own magazine, Triumph Magazine. And, um, yeah, anyway, the fantasy of what you want and actually getting it can be two totally different things. So I jumped in, I just, I, guys, I just took some regular paper, I mean, I took it to the printer, printed articles, and my kids and I, we just delivered it all over. Um, I had, like, some local, like, news person, it was a big scandal with, like, Frank Turner, Jeffrey Feiger, who was the lawyer for um, Kevorkian, who was on the cover of a magazine. And I'm just doing my little thing. And I'm selling my ads. And basically, what I didn't know was I realized that people didn't like me. They liked the magazine. And, you know, I just found, you know, especially like men, um, people coming on to you to me um, I wasn't comfortable with it um, it was just it was business at a whole nother level that I didn't even 
um, understand. You know what I'm saying? And I ended up going into like this deep, you know, sorrow. <laughs> like, oh my God, I can't believe I did this. So I thought I got to get out of this. So actually, in the right when everything was like I had ads and it was flourishing. I decided I didn't want to do it anymore, that I wanted to go back to school to get my doctorate degree, and I gave everybody back their money. Like We had like a stack of checks for people who had advertised in the magazine, and um, for a long time I just couldn't forgive myself. Like I just felt like I just didn't understand, you know, like what I wanted, and I didn't know what it was going to feel like to... Like, you know, I'm thinking, like, I just want to write, and I just want people, I just want to share my ideas. I didn't know that there was some, there was so much involved. Like, I remember one article wasn't written the way the person wanted, and they were furious with me, and people felt that, well, if I buy an ad, that means I own the magazine, I own your content, child. Why are you writing about this? You know, like, it was just really more than I could, whew, than I could ever have imagined. So... And I blamed myself and I felt like a failure for a long time, which made it very difficult for me to, I wanted to get, to create, to create things that I wanted. Um, I just, you know, like it just, it destroyed my self-esteem as a creator. Okay. So we have this card, creativity is not, especially if you are a creator, we are creators and sometimes we're not aware of how powerful we are and we you know we create our intentions and um, this card here assert your divine power see guys listen my son is uh, there are two types of creators in my opinion there are intentional creators and there are unintentional creators my son can create whatever he wants whenever he wants something he just gets it like and I have to go through all kinds of stuff to get what I want. The message today is make sure that you want what you're asking for because you're going to get it. And also to know that you are very, very powerful. Um, and that you're going to have to, if you have created something in the past, that maybe you were not happy with the results. The universe is asking you to forgive yourself. But I also feel like this hand is saying that you may get something that you want and it may not be what you expected it to be. And the universe is telling you in advance to forgive yourself because you have divine power. You are a creator, but the universe wants to bring your attention to your power as a creator do you understand me you are very 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 powerful and a lot of times we create things that we are not aware of that we don't realize that it that it that it manifested from our own power we kind of think it happened to us and we get ourselves into situations and jobs and relationships and we wonder how the heck did I end up here well because you weren't really aware of how powerful you are. So the message for today is think twice, darling. I really hope this video helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you, darling, in the next video.